Hi there! We're gonna walk you through how you can turn your kitchen into a personal meadery with Alchema in 5 minutes. The Alchema set contains one user manual, one micro USB cable, one USB charger, and one Alchema funnel. And most importantly, the Wi Fi enabled Alchema machine. You can find instructions for the equipment and mobile app in our user manual. Once you've read through the manual, remove the bubble wrap and you're now ready for your first brew. Before making a batch, make sure you have the sensor stopper, pitcher lid, and airtight cap in place. And be sure to place the gaskets in position on both the lid and inside the pitcher. When you turn on the Alchema machine, you will see a welcome signal at the top. The signal will flash from left to right and back to its starting point. After the welcome signal, your Alchema is ready for brewing. You can either create a new account with your email or log in with your Facebook account. For brewing newbies, we highly recommend that you start with making mead, also known as honey wine. All you need for making your mead is honey, water, and yeast. To start a new batch, our app will guide you to pair your phone with the Alchema machine via Bluetooth. And once the pairing is complete, the white ring will turn blue. Once connected, the app will display the name and the software version of your machine. The default name is Alchema. You are welcome to name it whatever you like. It's important to have the latest software version, so do visit the More button to stay up to date. After this, the app will guide you to connect your machine to your selected Wi-Fi network, followed by entering the Wi-Fi password to take your machine online. By connecting to Wi-Fi, your machine will be able to sync your brewing activities to your account and keep you posted about your brewing progress. And now it's time to clean your pitcher. Simply remove the base from the pitcher and rinse the parts. Please do not use a scrub to prevent scratches. Remember to screw your pitcher base back tightly before starting a batch to prevent leakage. Once we put the clean pitcher back into the machine, we can begin the sanitization process. It is very important to disinfect the container for fermentation. Click on Start to initiate sanitization. Please do not open the top and front covers during this process. You will see the pulsing blue light during sanitization. When sanitization is complete, the blue light will stop pulsing. You can then follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the app to add ingredients for your brew. First, add your favorite honey. Our app will tell you how much you have added along the way. The yeast will consume most of the sugar and turn it into carbon dioxide and alcohol, so you don't have to worry about your sugar consumption. Press next when you reach the amount of ingredient you need. Then add yeast. Alchema provides three different types of yeast. Red enhances fizziness, blue enhances aroma, and yellow makes the alcohol just a tad stronger. Now just add water. Please pour in the water until you reach the max line. Mix, mix, mix to get everything well combined. For the last part, follow the app for instructions. Remove the funnel, screw the lid back on the pitcher, and place the airtight cap to the side. The sensor on the cover should align with the pitcher slit. The pitcher contains a one-way air release valve, creating an optimal environment for fermentation. Close both the front and the top covers of the machine. Press start to initiate the brewing process. During the process, your app stays updated with your machine to make sure everything is on track. Once you see a check mark for every step, you're good to go. You can now just sit back and relax while fermentation works its magic. You can get details on days to complete, current alcohol content, sweetness, and temperature by finding your batch card in the app. In the first two days of fermentation, your machine is collecting data to forecast the process, so the app will display the remaining days after two days. It usually takes about three to five days to make a batch, but this varies depending on the alcohol content and your environment. It will take longer on colder days or if the alcohol content is higher. As our brew approaches completion, the pulsing white light will slowly turn orange. When the pulsing light stops and remains orange, your batch is done. You will also receive a notification from your phone, letting you know that your batch is ready. You will be asked to cool down or filter the yeast after fermentation to take your drink up a notch. You could choose to leave your batch in the fridge for 5 days and have the sediment settled at the bottom. The app will notify you after 5 days of refrigeration, so don't worry about forgetting to take your batch out. Other than the refrigeration method, you could also choose to freeze your batch for two days and remove most of the remaining yeast. Or you could simply strain your brew while pouring it into other bottles. 
Use bottles that can withstand high pressure or bottles with air release valves similar to the Alkama pitcher for safety. We recommend storing your brew via refrigeration so your brew stays fresh. Usually the taste is at its best in the first two weeks. Now that you're done with your first brew, shall we get started on the next one?